Here is the 2012 to 2016 Honda CRV. Before we get started, though, let me give a quick shout out to Mia Max Automotive for letting us use the car today to film the videos. They are a used car dealer here in Toronto, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now let's go ahead and open the driver's side door. Right by where the driver's left side foot would go, that's the primary hood release lever. Pull it. Now in front of the vehicle, right on top of that Honda emblem over there. On the left side, put one finger in there and then push it right. Like that, push it right and lift up the hood at the same time. This hood requires a prop rod to stay in place, so grab the rod. Put it in that slot in the hood with the arrow marking it right there. Yeah, put it in there. Let it go. And now the hood is secure in place. It's not going anywhere. Now when you check the oil, you have to make sure that the engine is warm. Because the engine oil expands once it heats up. So you want to get a correct reading so it has to be warm. Also, it has to be on level ground, not on a sloped driveway because it's going to affect the reading. So make sure the car is on level, flat ground when you check the oil. That's the dipstick and that's the oil cap. First, we're going to check the oil level using the dipstick. You will need a piece of rag or old, old towel or something for this. So get the old piece of rag. Get the dipstick out. Just pull it out straight. And as soon as it comes out, you have to wipe it off clean, reinsert it, and then get a clean reading. But before we do that, let's take a closer look at it. Now, there are two markings on it. That is the minimum hole. The oil level should not be below minimum because that means there's not enough oil in the engine, and that's not good. Also, it should not be above maximum because that means there's too much oil, and that causes whole different sets of issues. And you definitely don't want that either. So the oil level should be between minimum and maximum. It takes about one quart of oil, about like one liter of oil, to increase your oil level from minimum to maximum. For now, let's just wipe the dipstick and put it back in all the way, all the way down. Pull it out, and let's get a fresh reading. In this case, it's right below maximum, which is perfect. I don't have to add any oil. I don't have to take off any oil. It's once you're done. Just wiped off the oil and put the dipstick back in and make sure it goes in like all the way so you have to sort of lock it in all right let's get a closer look at it that's it push it and now it's locked in place if you have to add oil though you need to know what type of oil your engine takes right and that is right there on the oil cap 0w20 again 0w20 that's the oil you need for your engine it should say it right there on the bottle 0w20 now if you cannot find 0w20 you can put 5w20 so 5W instead of 0W, it's okay. But the 20 part should be matching. Now when you're adding oil, you don't want to overfill, right? Because you don't want to end up over the maximum oil level. So add some oil, sit for 10 seconds, check the oil, add some more, wait for a little bit, check the oil, and so on and so forth. That's how you open the oil cap. Just twist it left and off it comes. That's the oil cap. That's where you fill up the oil from. Put the cap back on. When you're putting it back, that 0W20 should be like sort of facing right at you. So that way the oil cap just sits in. Twist your right, tighten it, and that's good. And that's pretty much it. In order to close the hood, first push it. Get the load off the prop rod. Get it out of the slot over there. Put the prop rod back in its place. Secure it. Lower the hood and slam it shut. Hope you found the video useful.